Uh, this is tenured Christian professor at Illinois Wheaton College, Larcia Hawkins. So uh, she did what uh, others around the country is doing. We uh, reported a woman in Conway, Arkansas, who is a local librarian who decided to wear a hijab, even though she isn't Muslim, uh, to show solidarity with those who are being picked on and discriminated. Uh, and uh, that story had a great ending. She goes to her church, and a lot of people come and hug her and say, "Hey, how can we help?" And we'd like to do this as well. Now, in this case, Hawkins is also uh, deeply Christian, and she says the reason she did it is. She said, Muslims like me, a Christian, are people of the book. And she said, we worship the same God. And that's true. Uh, Islam is a monotheistic uh, religion. It, in Islam, uh, they believe that they are the third book. So it's the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Quran. So Islam actually believes all the old prophets, including Jesus Christ. Now, a lot of Americans don't know that, but that's true. That doesn't mean that Islam is right. I don't happen to believe in any of the religions, but it is people of the book, and, and Quran constantly refers to people of the book. And now, look, it, it sometimes says, oh, you should never hurt uh, a, a Christian or a Jew because they're people of the book, and other times it says other things, right? Because it's a religious text, so it's wildly hypocritical, as the Bible is. But it, it, she's absolutely right. They do worship the same God. Allah just means God in Arabic. And in fact, in the Quran, you know who comes back to save us all? Well, Muhammad, obviously, right? No, Jesus H. Christ. So because Jesus Christ is a prophet of Allah in the book. Allah just means God. So what she did is fantastic. It's drawing attention to it. She's being brave. And she's supporting someone that she feels is being picked on, which as a Christian, seems like the right thing to do. That's what Jesus Christ did. He stepped up for the needy. And he said, let those of you without sin cast the first stone. So uh, the Wheaton administrators were like, hey, give me a stone, somebody. Hurry up, <laughs> let's cast it. So uh, immediately, there are consequences. Uh, they've uh, put, her, put her on administrative leave. Now, she's a tenured professor. Uh, I, I, I know they're a private even evangelical college. So I guess they can do whatever they want. But is it the right thing to do? Well. They said, I don't know this whole thing about people of the book. I'll have to look into it. And then they went on to say, in a statement on the school's website, officials said a full review of the theological implications of her statements would be required before her suspension was reconsidered. Part of what I enjoy about that statement is um, we don't really know what's in the Quran and not sure how well it jives or doesn't jive with the Bible. It's not like we're an evangelical Christian college who should know about theology. Oops. Uh, yeah, we don't know anything about that. We're kind of dumbasses, so we're going to have to look into it. But just in case, let's make sure we punish her first. No go good deed goes unpunished. Uh, mighty Christian of Wheaton College to strike first and ask questions later.